Hello and welcome to the Daily Forex Report for February 21st. We are looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair is surged uh, or has surged to the upside. Uh, today it did create an inside bar. Uh, it had a pretty low amount of uh, movement from high to low there. We are looking for it to potentially go up and hit resistance at 80.00, possibly moving down and hitting some support around 78.95. Now the Euro USD pair, this pair moved lower today, did break the high, but closed lower. We are looking for it to potentially go as high as 133.66, possibly as low as 131.09. Look for some resistance around 132.95 and look for some support around 131.55. Now the pound US dollar pair surged to the downside during today's session. Uh, we are looking for it overall to be moving sideways. Uh, if we get a break below this low, of course, we will look for it to head lower. Uh, look for it to potentially, though, to go up to 158.30, possibly as low as 156.67. Look for some resistance around 158.79, and look for some support around 157.33. Now, the U.S. Swiss, this pair closed up during this last session, broke the previous session's low, still looking for it to move to the downside. Uh, look forward to, however, potentially go as high on a reversal up to 0.9233, possibly as low as 0.9032. Look for some resistance to come into the market around 191.50, and look for some support around 0.9075. Now, as far as news analysis go, we have a uh, the Bank of England releasing their minutes uh, for the pound, of course, at 4:30 a.m. Eastern Time. All the news has been released already as far as the numbers go, so typically these minutes don't uh, move the market, but uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Now, if we get a move to uh, in the U.S.-Japanese yen pair to the downside, I am looking for uh, this to pull back. If it moves higher, uh, so be it, but if it moves lower, let me show you what I'm looking at from that standpoint takes out yesterday's sessions low around the 79.33 mark. I will look for it to come on down to the session before it's high, taking out this window. I like to call these windows of opportunity trades or windows trades. Uh, basically looking for a short around the 79.33 mark and then looking to exit around 78.96. Now realize we're getting close to a 00 mark there of 79.00 uh, so you need to be aware of that using a risk to reward of one to one on this one places our stop loss right about here and looking to grab those 33 uh, to 36 peps between those two typically if you it, what uh, what this does is if you go down in time frame you can see that the market just pushed through that area very very quickly uh, and that's what you want to see. It did pull back a little bit within there. Let's drop on to the down to the hour time frame. For the most part, uh, it did move sideways a little bit for a couple hours there, but did push higher. So in this scenario, if it breaks to the downside, we may see a little bit of uh, support come in about about 20 pips in, 19 pips into the move. Uh, but if at that at that point, you could uh, definitely go to break even. Uh, looking for it to move an additional uh, 10 uh, to 17 pips through this area. I hope that helps, and until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.